Good afternoon. Uh, got a story coming out of Ireland uh, that is extremely frustrating for me on a frustrating day. Um, I don't know. I'm at a point that I am so sick of governments forcing harm to its own people to cater to the individuals that don't even put in to make the country whatever it may be. It's mind-blowing. And I'm not just talking about the article that you see there. I'm talking about family courts and everything else that the governments are doing to try to destroy families, to try to destroy nations, to try to destroy proper mindsets, to basically try to destroy humanity. And we have to realize that these individuals are going to continue out their plans. It doesn't matter who the hell you vote for. It doesn't matter a damn thing. These people are intent on continuing on with their agenda. And until people, like the individuals in Ireland here, until people stand up, and not just speak. This this bullshit of all these loud mouths on social media, enough is enough. Shut up or put up. Shut up or put up. I The right is the worst about this. They'll run off at the mouth like you wouldn't believe, like a rabid dog, and they're too fucking scared to even get off their asses and show up somewhere. Not in Ireland, they're not. But in Ireland, I think that they probably got a lot less to keep them from acting up. See, that's the trick here. It's bread and circles, bread and circuses. It does a great job, great job of keeping people from doing anything about anything. They give you a little bit here, and they find a politician on both sides that people identify with and they let that politician just feed you some hopium a little bit here and a little bit there as long as you get that little bit of hopium you won't do nothing as long as you can keep your bass boat as long as you can keep your 65 inch tv you won't stand up you won't do nothing and they know it that's why they keep the cheap goodies coming. Works. Take a look at the United States. We're one of the most fucked up messes on this planet. Freest nation, my ass. We aren't free. We aren't good. We aren't with a shit right now. The difference between Ireland... And the United States, as at least the Ireland folks have, have grown large enough nuts to actually do something. Here in the United States, people are still busy making excuses for their politicians on why nothing is ever done. Time people put up or shut up. Seriously, quit pushing your Trump bullshit. Quit pushing the red, red, raw, raw bullshit. If you guys aren't going to get off your asses and do anything. I am fed the... Mm. Political parties in the United States are the biggest joke. Again, they're not there so that you can help move the government in the direction that you want to go. They're only there to keep you content, to keep you from doing anything. Because in reality, and if you haven't figured this one out, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. In reality, they're all working for the same goals. 
They're working together. They're not against one another. Take a look at the shit they pull. Take a look at all of the stuff that they have bipartisan support for and then tell me some kind of bullshit line again about how there's a choice in this country. The only choice you got is which freaking brand of cereal you want to eat in the morning. You can't even choose that your government warns you about the chemicals, the GMOs, and everything else in that fucking cereal. Because decades ago, you wouldn't stand the fuck up and do anything about it. And now we're entering probably one of the most periods of crisis of this nation. We haven't even gotten into it yet. Because this stuff is going to really ramp up here. And we don't even have the individuals with enough testicular fortitude to stand up for something like this now. I am fired up. I am pissed off. Why? Well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you what one of the famed of the blue line had to say in Dublin about this. That's why I'm pissed off, really. I mean, I'm pissed off for a lot of reasons. But when it comes to this article, this is what sets me off. First of all, let's talk about what happened. A man walked into a school and stabbed three children and one adult. Three children and one adult. The children were under six years old. Under six years old. It was a language school, an Irish language school. A girl was five years old, um, and uh, there was a five-year-old boy, and then there was a six-year-old girl. And uh, I don't know if it says the age of the adult. I don't see it right handy, but... Um, word got out, and of course it didn't get out through any kind of natural channels like it should, because people were asking questions like they should when they have children stabbed in their community. They have a right to know what is going on. So word got out that the individual involved in attacking these children was an Algerian national from Algeria. And when that came out, riots and arson spread across Dublin. See, people in other nations are trying hard to be what the United States used to be, that they still falsely claim they are, but home of the brave, my ass. My ass. Crowds of rioters have set police and public transport vehicles on fire in the Irish capital of Dublin amid rumors that a man who stabbed three children at a school was a foreign national. You know, just rumors. Of course it's not confirmed, because it's true. Protesters began to assemble in the center of the city on Thursday afternoon following the knife attack, which left three children and adult women Uh, and an adult woman wounded. One of the victims, a five-year-old girl, was hospitalized with serious injuries. Police arrested the man. Of course, as you know, there was riots. There was all kinds of crazy things going on. Several police vehicles were on fire. Arsonists also targeting at least two double-decker buses and a tram. They let it be known that they weren't pleased. By the way, I'm just curious if anybody could answer the question of why this Algerian national was in their country to begin with. 
because maybe that's the issue that needs to be addressed by nations across the world right now. So anyway, the police commissioner, the scumbag extraordinaire, Drew Harris, condemned the disgraceful scenes. And look, I am not supporting, maybe I am a little bit, but for the most part, I'm not supporting riots and, and madness. But what is there left to do when there are people that are trying to kill your children from countries other than your own? What's left? Where is your recourse? Where can you further redress grievances? That's what I want to know. Because these people... And government that are supposed to be representative of their people are not listening to their people. They're listening to the ones pulling the marionette strings and the ones that are making sure that they've got a lot of padding in their wallet. They're not working for the people and haven't for a long time. And it doesn't matter which country you pick. If there was a country worth its salt, you better believe that there were many other countries trying to get in there so they could spread their freedom to change that. Now, there is no way to fix this problem in a manner that's going to please the, oh, we can't do anything, peoples, because they're candy-ass pansies to begin with. That will let you, will let your family, let everything be destroyed as long as they think they don't have to fear nothing. That's pretty much the long and short of it. The United States needs to grow one big old set of testicles in the Gulf of America. Or Gulf, Gulf of America. Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, it would be a good spot, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I mean, you already got Florida there. It can be this long if you wanted. But just throw some nuts in the Gulf of Mexico and... Uh, Let's make America great again, or something. I don't know. I don't have the answers to this shit, but I know this shit, along with the shit in family courts, destroying families, mo removing fathers out of their children's lives left and right. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. And if it's going to take this kind of stuff, so be it. When are you candy asses going to wake up and realize what is happening to you? What is happening to your country? What is being done with your children in public school system? And you want to find excuses to stay on your ass? The hell is wrong? Shalom.